Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to Duke Clark, and in this video, I will be showing you the best OBS Studio settings. So let's get started. First, what you want to do is you want to open up your OBS Studio, and if you don't have this program already, you can just download it. In the description below, there will be a download link to the OBS Studio. And once you have your OBS Studio um, popped up, um, yours will probably look like a white screen, like a, a white theme. So what you want to do is you just want to go to your settings right here. It's going to say settings. Click on that. Go to general and go to theme and you can change it to default like this or dark. I like mine dark. So let's click apply. All right. Now what you need to do is you need to go to your output. So this setting will be for the live streaming. So once your output is here, if you're streaming on Twitch, your bit rate needs to be like, you know, below 3000 or 3500 because on Twitch, the max bit rate is like, I think it's like 3500, but on YouTube, um, it's like 10,000 bit rate. So let's get started right here for the output. It doesn't really matter. You can change it to 720p, but I'm going to put it full HD and make sure that the encoder is um, 264 and make sure that enforced streaming service is clicked and rescale output is checked. All right. And the rate control, you need to click on CBR and bit rate, change it to 3500 for, you know, very smooth. Um, video streaming and for the keyframe make sure it's two and for the CPU if you have a super fast computer like you have like an i5 Skylake i7 you know i5 i7 you want to pick a faster fast or medium um, um, CPU usage because the faster it is uh, sorry the slower it is the better the qual quality of the streaming but you want to make sure that it's it's around faster or faster medium. So I'm just going to put mine on very fast. Sorry, very fast to medium. All right. One of these um, right here. So I'm going to click on very fast and make sure that the profile is on main and everything else is exactly like my settings right here. And just click apply. All right. And for your video, you don't need to change any of this right here. So. You're done so just click OK and once you're done but if you're streaming on let's say on YouTube you want to go to your stream key on your YouTube and paste that in and you want to make sure you don't want to show it to anybody because people can just live stream on your Facebook and once you're done click OK and now you want to record your screen so you want to click on sources and click on add and if you want to record your screen just click on display capture and click OK and boom as you can see it is recording my entire screen right now and when you click OK you just click on start streaming and it's going to stream directly to YouTube or your Twitch so that's it guys that's the best OBS settings um, with no lag thanks for watching don't forget to rate comments and subscribe and if you have any questions just post it in the comments below and guys sorry about the mic my mic is broken and I'm trying to get it fixed so the mic quality might not be that good so that's it guys thanks for watching check out my channel and I'll see you next time